This year, Google has dropped so many AI tools, it's hard to keep up. Gemini Live. Nano Banana. Of what Flow is. Gemma 3. Firebase. In this video, we're going over the top 10 biggest drops. With that being said, let's dive into this right now. We're going to talk about something that's a bit relevant to start with, which is Nano Banana, which has honestly, I think, broken the internet in the last week or two. <laughs> it's trending like crazy right now, and it's Google Gemini's newest model to create and edit images. So take this, for example. You can upload an image of yourself and you can say hey i want you to clone me in different settings like in a cafe with the eiffel tower blurred in the background now you can see my face over here it's copying this exact face and then implanting that on a new image and it's kind of shocking how similar this face is i feel like if i uploaded this image or the next one onto instagram you would never know in a million years that this is generated using artificial intelligence but that's me but it's not actually me because well i wasn't there and this is just some fabricated background and so yeah it does a really really good job of being able to duplicate yourself in different settings you can even see like down to the hair over here when it is essentially removing the background and planting me on different images. So cool technology, but also kind of scary as well, because as this technology emerges and rolls out over the coming years, there's also going to be a lot of opportunities to create deep fakes as well, which is kind of a bit scary, but it's also exciting to be able to do like a full entire photo shoot day with yourself, just using Google AI studio for free and getting a ton of content to publish online as well. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is the ability to share your screen in real time with Google and walk through any problems you're currently facing. This could literally be the death of YouTube tutorials online because instead of traditionally going to blogs to find the answers you're looking for or YouTube tutorials, now you can come for free to Google AI Studio, share your screen and get the answer that you're looking for. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to share my screen and choose the Google Doc here. Hey Google, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help you today? Yeah, I want to have a strike through effect through this text. How would I go about doing that? Okay, I can help with that. First, please select the text that you want to apply the strike through effect to. Okay, I've done that. What are the next steps? Can you just tell me all of them in a row? Sure. After selecting the text, go to the format menu at the top. Then choose text. And finally, select a strike through from the submenu. That should apply the strike through effect. Awesome. Thank you so much. So in a matter of a couple seconds, what otherwise could have taken a bit of time trying to figure this out, you can get Google to see your screen in real time and give you tailored feedback to the exact situation that you're in. Now, the next thing I want to go over is Gemini Live, which is very similar, but instead of being able to screen share your computer, now you can actually have eyes where Google can see out into the real world with you. Cool. So on my phone, I have the free Gemini app open and I'm going to hit this button in the bottom right hand corner here. And now I can share my screen so that it can see the real world in front of me, which is again, just my laptop. And I can go over to this image here where I typed in beautiful cars and I'm going to ask it a particular question. Hey Google, can you tell me what car this is? Yeah, that's definitely a Jaguar E-Type. It's a classic. Are you thinking of buying one or just curious about it? Yeah, I'm just curious about it. Do you know approximately when it was created? The Jaguar E-Type was first introduced in 1961. Do you want to know more about the history of this model? No, that's great. Thanks so much for letting me know. And so there's so many different use cases for this, but now all of a sudden you can actually have AI peer into the world with you and give you real feedback on otherwise questions you may have that you may not be able to get an answer for. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here, which also broke the internet very recently, was VO3, which is like cinematic Hollywood style video clips that you can generate straight through Google Gemini. So let's take a look at two of these, for example, that I generated here. This is where legends are born. Right there. Now, keep in mind, this is this all generated straight through a text prompt. So you're literally just typing in text to generate something like this or something like this as well, which is like a 4K cinematic scene. We thought we were the first, but we're not even close. What I like we about this we is like the reflection um, and the shadows and everything. It just looks super realistic. And it, it's crazy to me that that's being generated by AI. Now, the only downside to this is that you can only generate eight seconds at a time. And, um, you know, and it takes a bit of time and costs a lot of money to get started. But this technology is only going to get better and 
cheaper over time. Now, with that being said, the next tool that I want to go over here is Google Flow, which allows you to generate videos using VO3 and then kind of stitch them all together to create an AI film. Now, keep in mind, I generated this using VO3 um, fast. It didn't give me the best results. So I'm not like super proud of this, but I want to show you what this looks like anyways. Welcome to the AI frontier. So again, not the best, but you can quickly build AI videos and stitch them all together. You can add or extend the existing clip. So there's a lot of different things you can do and you can kind of see where this is going. This is like almost like the Premiere Pro of AI where they're gonna be able to allow you to generate full on videos using a tool just like this and you can get started completely for free. Okay, this is another example of something like Places that. Places to visit on earth. Number five, Santorini, Greece. Number four. Banff National Park, Canada. And you'll see really quickly that the one flaw in this is the fact that it's very challenging to be able to maintain things like background music or voices or the same style and feel overall. And the other thing is, is that not always does the text look perfect. Like for example, I have no idea why it has these squiggly lines at the end. That's probably just a mistake. Okay. Moving on here is AI mode inside Google, which was just dropped literally maybe a week ago. And this will be, in my opinion, the future of search. So instead of depending on links, inside Google. I mean, let's be real, like half the time you search something on Google, it provides you a, a list of links, most of which aren't even relevant. And then the, the right answer you're looking for is buried. And so you have to do so much research. But what happens if you could just get AI to customize the response back to you so that you can have more of like a conversation like um, search history where all of a sudden you can ask follow up questions and get tailored advice or suggestions to what you're looking for. So for example, I could be like, what is the temperature in New York? And it gives me the exact answer. It even links out to an external uh, website that I can now go visit to get more information about that. And then I can follow up and say, is there anything fun to do in this city? You'll notice that I didn't say New York in the second follow-up message, but it instinctively knows that I'm still talking about New York because it has a memory built into it, knowing exactly what the last query was and building on top of that. And then we can take it a step further by asking additional things like, can you find me a hotel tonight for under $300? And it will go ahead and link it in. The cool thing about this too, is that it's not just text answers, but Google's kind of like merging all of their features in here together so that you have like a carousel post giving you multiple options here. You have Google Maps that's embedded in here as well. You have links on the side. And so it's getting really fascinating, um, the things that you can do about this. This, I think, is, yeah, definitely going to be the, the future of search moving forward here. Cool. And so moving on here, the next thing I want to talk about is using Google Gemini 2.5 Flash, which allows you to communicate back and forth, very similar to AI mode in search where you can ask any questions you want. But in this instance, I could do things like upload an image of my landing page. We offer AI automation services to businesses. And in this instance, I said, hey, can you give me some feedback on how I could improve my conversion rate for people coming to this particular landing page here? And it gave me a ton of information back, probably a bit more than I was hoping for, because it really reminds me that I could do <laughs> significantly better when it comes to optimizing my page. And and uh, I'm just going to scroll past all of this kind of stuff here and move on to the bottom because that's uh, that's that's a bit too much for my comfort level here. But it even uh, it even provides like options for graphics down here below. It's like, hey, maybe you could add this particular section, which I think is super cool. Like, again, it's just merging all of these different features together. Not only are you able to receive a text response back, but you're able to provide an image that it can literally look at and be able to provide you guidance on. And then it can also provide um, um, certain graphics back to you based on the exact style of your website in the first place. So I, I don't know. I think that's like really, really cool. And it's, it's a massive step forward over the past year. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, actually just one more example there is we could even upload things like receipts here and we could say, could you please pull out line items of this particular receipt? Okay. And then I want it to be in CSV format. So we could go ahead and do that. I could download this exact file here, and then I could just import this into my existing Google Google uh, sheet here. So I could go upload, browse, grab this file, 
I'm just going to upload it in. And I'm just going to insert new sheets here, import, and we're good to go. So something as simple as that, where, you know, it just intuitively, it feels like, hey, I should be able to do this. But these are really new developments that were not possible not too long ago. And so it's just coming along so quickly. Now, moving on, the next tool that I want to talk about is Mariner, which is an AI agent developed by Google. This is a bit costly. You need to be on the Google Ultra plan at the time of this recording, but this will hopefully become cheaper over time. So you can ask for it to do things like check your availability on Google Calendar and then book a hotel in Miami that has a hot tub, is pet friendly, and is fully refundable on Expedia. And we can just take a look and see Project Mariner working for us. It can go take a look at our calendar, go over to Expedia, find the date range that we are looking for, and then go through hotels to find the best option for us. We could also say to Google Mariner, hey, take a look at my resume. And then based on my resume, can you find similar jobs that would be probably a good fit for me and then go ahead and apply to those. So it took a look at our Google Doc resume, then it's going over to some particular job portal and then it can find all of these jobs for us. And so this technology is in its infancy, however, it's gonna get significantly better over time. The next thing I wanna talk about here is Notebook LM. If you guys haven't seen this yet, this is really, really cool. So you can think about it through this graphic here where essentially you can import in all your different files, Google Docs, PDF files, um, websites, whatever. And then you can say, hey, summarize something about like a Google PDF. And it will literally pull results back for you that you upload in the first place. It's not gonna search Google for it. It's not gonna find it at some random location. It's only gonna search based on the information you provide it with. So for instance, I uploaded my website here, which is automatable. I said, hey, what services do we offer? And then it went ahead and summarized exactly what we provide based on only the resource that I provided it with. So you can think about this like literally having an external brain where you teach it all of the things you want it to know, and then it will respond back based on the information you provided it with. So imagine like, for instance, I don't know, you're in college and you insert in a textbook and then you start asking questions about that textbook. It will give you exa the exact answers you're looking for based on the information that you provided with, which would be as an example, that textbook. Cool, so that's Notebook LM, really cool functionality there. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about here is Stitch. This is kind of like Google's AI powered application to allow you to design web Web applications, websites, all of that kind of stuff. So using natural language down here, you could be like, hey, I want you to design a plant care application and it will go ahead and it will design the layout for you. You can have multiple different pages. You can have the layout for every single screen here. This could save a ton of time when it comes to having to create these designs because if you've wired framed anything before, you know it takes a long time to develop this kind of stuff. So AI is gonna significantly speed up the process. Here's just a couple other examples of like a ski guide, for example, or maybe an e-commerce site when it comes to selling uh, products online, or maybe another full-blown web application for like a board game club planner. And there's even different colors that you can select from very quickly if you want to get like, you know, some different options going to decide between, or you could build out a full blown uh, website for your business. Um, the options are endless, right? And then lastly, there's another app here. So really, really cool options here, which would hopefully save a lot of time. Again, you can import this into Figma and take it from there once you're done with Google Stitch. The last thing that I want to talk about here today is the ability to build full-blown web applications via vibe coding inside Google. So inside AI Studio, for instance, here in like a matter of two seconds, I was able to like literally just say, build me an AI photo generation app using Nano Banana. And I could upload an image here. And I said, hey, can you put me in a singer on a concert stage? And there we go. That's the best depiction it came up with. I feel like a miniature rock star right now. I'm just kidding. But, um, but yeah, super cool stuff. You could like literally deploy this to GitHub over here, or you could download the code Code, and then you could use this to get this on the internet pretty quickly. So yeah, really, really powerful, really cool stuff. Very similarly, you could build websites based in like Firebase, for example. And so with something like this, you can say, hey, I, like in this exact example, it took me like maybe 20 minutes to build out where I just asked it to build an SEO um, 
an SEO application where we can essentially put in a company's website down here. And what happens is that when, when we analyze the website, it's going to send that information over to a backend service like N8N. And this is what my channel mostly talks about here, but we can run like a full report, SEO report via this node here. It will give back all of the information, process that information, like, you know, essentially format it properly and then send it back to Firebase to be displayed. So we can be like, hey, this page has this many words this many links here's the amount of unoptimized images here's the link health here's the audit summary and so this application um, would normally probably take somebody weeks to build out but now you can do it in 20 minutes using a tool like firebase or ai studio so yeah it's just it's coming a long way just anecdotally i mean i learned software engineering took me two years and just to build some of these apps sometimes it took me months or weeks or even years in the extreme case and now with this kind of technology i'm just scratching my face in my head thinking like man like the things that took me forever to do back in the day forever could take me like 20 30 40 minutes now it's just mind-blowing how far this technology has come and so those are the top 10 ai apps and tools that i wanted to run through that google has developed over the past year let me know what you guys think in the comments to me this is absolutely insane hopefully you guys get some value out of this and uh and use some of them let me know if i missed any in the comments down below and as always guys if you're looking to learn more about ai and automation i highly recommend taking a look at my school community over here where there's three major transformations that i want to take you on first one first one is learning all these tools so that you can apply it to your life to win back time and earn money the second one is for those of you who have an existing business I show you exactly how to automate up to 80% of your operations with the exact systems and blueprints that worked for me that allowed me to scale to seven figures and essentially replace myself from having to work that hard at my business. And the last transformation is for those of you who are looking to create an AI automation agency. And I give you the step-by-step -step roadmap that worked for me in the past so that you can find clients, close clients, and then ultimately service those clients as well. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks and bye-bye.